electronic process of financial institution could begin cryptocurrency trading in the 2018th survey. According to a survey by Thomson Returns, approximately 20% of a financial institution could get off the fence and begin cryptocurrency trading in a 2018th of a different time duration. Most of the time that expect to launch cryptocurrency trading this year, or 70%, are keen to do so in the next 3 to 6 months, according to the survey. Meanwhile, 22% provide a long-term time horizon on the next 6 to 12 months. Thomson Reuters polled more than 400 clients across its trading solution Icon, Ready and FEX platforms. The Ethereum Connection Sam Chedwick, director of the strategy and innovation at Thomson Reuters, specializes in blockchain and took some time to talk with the CCN from Zurich, Switzerland. In 2015, Chedwick was doing his postgraduate master's at the Oxford University. While searching for a dissertation topic, Vitalik Buturin's paper on Ethereum just happened to come out. He read it and decided to write on the impact of the blockchain of financial services. As a fed would have it, Vitalik was only a kilometer away in Switzerland, so Chadwick emailed him and they met up for a coffee at a Starbucks. Chadwick says, We had a chat for my dissertation on how Thomson Reuters would be impacted by blockchain and smart contacts. Baturin said there would be some discussion of the client base you serve today, if it pans out the way we think it will. But smart contacts need some mechanism of getting off-chain data, like weather, temperature, interest rates and the prices of other world assets. That become my thesis. Chad will continue to lead blockchain and cryptocurrency innovation for Thomson Returns from Zurich. The year after he joined, Thompson Return launched Block 1 IQ, which incidentally provides data for MGP Morgan and National Bank of Canada's debt issuance on a bureau. The rise of cryptocurrency trending. In January 2017, prior to the more recent formal survey, Thompson Returns, Chadwick anecdotally polled the firm's institutional client about the Bitcoin and other cryptocurrency, in response to which Chadwick said he was met with blank stares. By year end 2017, however, when Bitcoin favor hit, he tied turned. For instance, Thomson Reuters added Bitcoin to its desktop platform Acon as well as on its premium data feed for a price discovery. That was one year ago. And then coming into the end of the last year into Q4, prices of cryptocurrency assets went bananas. Bitcoin started soaring. That leading page we created for Bitcoin instead icon moved up to be 0.2 of all FX landing page after the euro, explained Chenvik. While there is a speculation that Goldman Sachs is launching the cryptocurrency trading desk, Chadwick wouldn't comment on them or the clients they were survey given the sincerity of the topic explained to say. It was a combination of the large buy such organization, asset managers and uh, head funds, as well as uh, some of the bank trading desks. He also described the number of ways in which financial institution more broadly could potentially be in cryptocurrency trading. Whenever they invest in the capabilities from a partnership or quality white label, we don't know. But there are different ways they new products without too much heavy lifting, said Chadwick. Rise of altcoin? Chadwick went on to describe the appetite among Thomas Reuters' client for cryptocurrency, which interestingly extended beyond just to top 10 digital currencies. One of the questions on our survey was if we were to cover cryptocurrency pricing and trading, which one would be you interested in? The big one were named, but uh, then it was interesting to see some of the altcoin that people picked. But you could actually hold a portfolio of 10 uh, to 20 coins that would uh, diversify if you risk given the fact that these are startups, explained Chenwick.